Hey, Game Design Ed here, and today I'm playing around with... Super Mario Maker! Super Mario Maker is a game just recently released by Nintendo for the Wii U where you can create and design your own levels. Here I've created a level called Jumpman Mario, referencing not only Mario's name in the original Donkey Kong, Jumpman, but also because in this level I teach the player how to jump. So with this level, I want to show you an example of how to teach your player how to play your game by having them play your game. So here we have a pretty standard start to a Mario level where you run, jump over a Goomba, hit a question mark box and get a mushroom out of it. I'm showing you that you can jump over Goomba, showing you that you can hit question marks and things come out of them, um, teaching you a, a few things about jumping. Um, so then we go over here to these pipes that have three coins between them, teach, calling you ahead, having these collectibles, these coins above that call you to the other pipes, so you jump and you grab that. Now we have these coins up above and a new enemy, uh, Koopa Troopa, um, and a question mark box on the ground, and we are showing that, hey, you can jump on this enemy and you have to jump twice, and then you can hit things on the ground with it, and you get these collectibles up here that have all this up there. Oh, and also you want to jump over the shell as uh, a player can find out if they stand here. Oh, so now we have these pipes that we saw earlier, but this time there's no ground between. Two pipes, three coins, trying to make us feel comfortable, showing us that we can jump across this and that we've done it before, even though there's no ground here below us to catch us. Um, so teaching the player that they can jump across these things and that they shouldn't be scared to do so. Um, here we have three Goombas instead of the one that we had at the beginning, and we can jump on those. And now we have a new set of pipes with coins in a different um, pattern. And we can't make the jump doing just the normal jump, hitting A or B. Um, here I'm teaching us that you have to dash. So you have to hold X or Y, and then jump with A or B. So showing you a different control scheme, you can't make it all the way through without dashing sometimes. So that is teaching you how far you can jump, the length of your jump. Now here we have some more enemies, and we've already learned that we can take things out on the ground with a Koopa Troopa shell. We can get things out of question mark boxes. And then over here we have these pipes again. Here we have these pipes again, with the same pattern, making us feel comfortable to make this jump that we've already made before. This time there's no ground though. So sort of scaffolding your player into making these jumps. Um, jump on some uh, Goombas. Some question marks. And here we have a new enemy, a piranha plant in a pipe, showing us that things can be in pipes, so be careful. Here we have a few more Goombas. mushrooms in there. And here I want to teach you how high you can jump. So you can't jump this high just doing a normal jump. You have to be able to run and jump using the dash. So you take a step back, you dash forward, and jump. And you can get these higher coins. So teaching someone not how far they can jump, but how high they can jump. We can go over this pipe, and then up here to the end where we jump and get the flag. So what I try to do here is show you some ways in which you can jump in the game by having you actually do the jumps. I'm Game Design Ed, thanks for playing.